Hello, my friends, and welcome back to youtube.com forward slash CubCamTV for this another highly anticipated reaction video. Unfortunately, the video you are watching has been blocked by YouTube. This means the video isn't able to be seen by anyone in its current format, and that format is the entire track being played. Now, we have a way of getting around this, which is chopping the video down so that the track doesn't play for anywhere near as long. By the time this video gets online, the odds are we will have edited it down three or four times to actually get it to a level where YouTube will allow it to go online. So, there is no w real way around this. We've tried appealing and all those sorts of things, but this is the only way of us getting the video up online. So hopefully you can forgive the fact that the tune isn't playing the entire way through. It's going to be a lot more conversation and a lot more of me talking rather than the tune playing. I will leave a link to the original track in the description so you can go and check out the track in full if you do want to do that. But do be aware there will be a lot of talking and a lot of cuts and pauses in this video. Hopefully though you guys can still enjoy and we'll get into the video now. Let's go. What's happening, people? And once again, welcome back to youtube.com forward slash CubCam TV for this, another edition of Cub Reacts Late Night Business. We have stayed up waiting for the launch of WizKid's brand new album, More Love, Less Ego, and he hasn't dropped it. So we're going to be looking at this brand new single that he has dropped instead. It goes by the name Money and Love. I genuinely believed with all my heart that we were going to see the album drop tonight, but it looks like we're not going to. I literally had a nice glass of whiskey poured, ready to go at the same time. We're going to enjoy it regardless because we are getting into this one. Money and Love. We don't have a YouTube link yet, so we are listening to this directly off of Spotify. Uh, hopefully it still sounds good at your end and you can still uh, we can still do the pause and break method that we normally do. As always, if you are new to the channel, do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right-hand side of the page, turning notifications on as well, leaving a like, leaving a comment, and all of that good stuff. I am so excited to get into this one. Brand new WizKid. What more could you ask for? I'm buzzing. Um, yeah, let's get right into it. Let's see how it's sounding. Let's go. Gucci on the mind jeans uh -huh. Big lollipop, baby look like ice cream Big bad ways, but okay. if you're panty Fuck you to put your banting Or put your benzing so from the jump, the theme I'm getting off the tracks we've heard from this album so far, there is a lot more of an electronic kind of influence going on within WizKid's vocals in particular, um, and a lot of the instrumental structure as well. That sort of shimmering violin line running through the backdrop, giving the whole thing a sense of tension. The drums themselves have a much kind of beefier feel than we were hearing on Made in Lagos, which had kind of an organic feel to a lot of the instrumentals. This is a really interesting way to go. Let's go. There is a really nice overall bounce to this one. The way he's uh, kind of moving in and around with those skippy vocal textures do give it that classic WizKid feel. That... Almost reminds me kind of like an old school kind of Sean Paul melody to an extent. It's really, really cool the way that's being kind of interwoven. The instrumental itself, really nice. Again, the tension we're hearing in those strings is really, really potent. Then on top of that as well, the drums themselves have a lot of kind of power and punch. The bass line down below kind of almost kind of moodily just playing away underneath, just giving you this kind of almost sound system-esque. It's really, really cool this. Different from Wiz as well. Hearing those little horns just appearing as well, giving it that kind of regal feel that we normally expect to hear from WizKid tunes is a great thing to be able to see. On top of that, loving these almost kind of ambient style string textures that are just floating around the top of the tune, giving it this kind of airy nature in the top. But then underneath, you've got this very kind of potent, powerful sense of, uh, of sub-heavy movement going on. It's a really nice combination of effects, and it's boding really well for when this album eventually does drop, which I thought it would drop today. But the two tracks we've heard of it both sound very, modernized which is really cool to see ah. it's really cool hearing this uh, vocal approach from Wizk. he's actually dipping back into that sort of higher pitched vocal sound we hear on tunes like come closer for instance that sort of baby 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 that higher pitched vocal line and it works with an instrumental like this which is very packed out and thick in the lower end but then you combine that with the kind of ambience and that kind of sweeping Almost, it almost feels like you're on a desert island, um, the way that sort of higher end feels. Um, i tell you what it reminds me of. It reminds me of one of the loading seeds from Tekken Tag Tournament. That's what those strings remind me of. I don't know why that's what jumps to my head, but they do. It's a really cool approach from Wizman. Let's go. Something else I'm noticing as well. 
Why do really you... nice use of those little chord elements we're hearing in there as well. Those little subtle kind of stabs, just giving the whole thing almost like a grounding kind of texture because every other instrument is either very floaty or very wide and ambient. The bass line itself is very wide and ambient. There's literally like... <laughs> Just covering up that entire low end, really nicely processed. The higher end is all about those strings that cover all of that. And then Wiz's vocal is kind of mid to high range. So hearing um, that sort of transition and those chords, just adding a little bit of mid range punch really does kind of thicken the whole mix up really nicely. Let's go. See what I mean? That combination of those strings and that chord line really do um, allow for a bridge to happen with a really kind of cool sense of clarity. I feel with if Wiz was still going over that, it would almost sound too full. If you didn't have those chords in there, it would feel a little bit lackluster. But those chords just add that little mel melodic kind of dash, that little kind of splash of color in the mid-range that do kind of bring everything together. It's the glue in the mid-range. You need something going on in the mid-range, and it goes from Wiz's vocal to those chords in these bridge sections. Really nice transition. Again, this has been a really cool listen. Man. Again, very futuristic, very different from Wizkid, but what do we expect? It's Starboy, you know? <laughs> I'm really liking that, that use of kind of horn instrumentation towards the end of the tune as well, showing us there's still stuff to wait for. There's still stuff going on. You don't switch this off yet. You wait for this outro bridge. I mean, the best example we've ever seen of Wiz doing that is obviously on Ginger, where Burner turns the entire tune upside down and key changes when no one's expecting it. But I mean, on this, just having this little kind of instrumental bridge as an outro, um, it does keep your ears listening. And it's a really cool way to kind of round things off. I always say it on this channel. It's important to make sure you are making the tune last until the end and you're not just looping elements. Um, really enjoyed this one, man. Let's go. The use of percussion and bass in that low end is spectacularly good. And there we go. The sounds of this one then. Wizkid, Money and Love. Not even a YouTube video up yet. And we're getting this to you first and foremost live from Spotify. Hopefully the audio sounds okay. Your end. This sounds fantastic, mate. Uh, that's all I can say. It makes me a little bit upset because it means we don't get the full album yet. But I know this is a very, very busy week for releasing music. Runtown's just dropped a project. We've also seen Harmonizer's dropped a project. We've also seen Blackbones has dropped a project. Uh, we know that Johnny Drill's dropped a new single. Savage has dropped a new single. We've just seen the announcement for the new maven's album as well which we'll be talking about in a vlog tomorrow but it's crazy the amount of music being released i reckon he clocked that and he pushed the album back a couple of weeks because Wizkid weekend needs to be just about Wizkid. Realistically, he is the CR7 of this of this scenario. Though his his weekend needs to be his, which is understandable. But this is a very good substitution. Again, the tune itself fantastic. Wicked use of low end bass line and percussion. You combine that with those kind of sweeping synthetic string sections in the higher end, um, just sweeping and soaring and giving us this really kind of ethereal feel. You then double that up again with uh, Wizkid of uh, the vocal, just kind of going up and down the the kind of frequency spectrum, giving us a very kind of suave approach something we've come to expect from Wizkid but he absolutely bodies this another very nice look into what we can expect from this album so there we go guys let me know your thoughts on this one in the comment section down below are you as disappointed as I am or is this a very good substitute for getting the full album let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below and as always if you are new to the channel do make sure you are getting involved by hitting that subscribe button on the right hand side of the page turn your notifications on as well leaving a like leaving a comment and all of that good stuff I'm going to enjoy the rest of my whiskey here um, and probably get another reaction done because there's so much music to do do make sure you are checking out of course the pull up um, the pull up show over on Mixcloud there is a link in the description down below we launched it today our brand new weekly radio show you can rest assured we're going to be playing this one on next week's show uh, check out the link in the description that's it for me though hopefully you have enjoyed and we shall see you on next time have a fantastic rest of your evening and peace This is Aaron Glitch and you're tuning to the sound of Kovu right now. You already know the thing. Bad boy selector. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.